Okay, today we are going to run through keying in corridors using Sliteworks. Um, there is three main steps to this procedure and the first step is creating a horizontal alignment. So let's kick things off. To do this, we go to the hamburger menu, Kogo and key in corridors. Um, straight away you get this <coughs> window that pops up and it gives you two options on the left hand side. If you don't know what these options are, you can press the question mark and it'll give you a short brief explanation. So we want to create and edit a corridor alignment today. So I'm going to use this button, create a new corridor. We're going to call this road one and press next. Okay, now this is where you enter in um, the horizontal alignment that you wish to use. So let's kick things off. Our station, we're going to start at zero. That can be edited if you like, but I'm going to keep it at zero for this demonstration. Um, our northing, I'm going to make 8,000. And easting, I'm going to make this 4,000. And simply press enter. It will take me down to the next line. Now I want to, if you click in this box, it gives you options. Uh, do you want an arc, line, and so on. So we're going to go with the line to start with. And the line is going to be 100 meters long. Sorry, azimuth of 100 with a length of 100. And that'll automatically populate the northing and eastings for where that line has ended up. So we're going to use spiral in this time round. We're going to do a tangent and we're going to go right. I'm going to make this radius of 50 and I want a length of 100 feet. Again, this will calculate the um, coordinates for where that spiral finishes. I'm going to do a line for my next <coughs> and tangent which is your only option there anyway, a length of 20 metres. And it's calculated our northing and eastings onto the end. So I'm going to go spiral in this time, tangent, I'm going to go left. Um, I'm going to make this 50 metres, 50 feet, sorry, and a length of 150 feet. And press enter. Now I'm going to do one more line, which is going to be a tangent anyway, that's our only option. A length of this line, I want 50 metres and it has given us the northings and eastings for where that line is. So if you would like to view this in your map screen just to make sure it is what you are after, that is exactly the horizontal alignment that I was chasing. So you can exit out of there and press next. 